guys really I really appreciate the fact that you guys give us these requests you know it's always a thing to where we dive into something we don't know how it's gonna go <clears throat> um I actually took the time to read the lyrics before we actually watched it <gasps> I mean that was something Without we talked <laughs> That's something we talked about doing anyways. I meant to tell Kay to do it, but at the same time, I read the lyrics and it's like, when you read the lyrics, it's like, I'm reading it all bland, like myself just reading it, you know? Uh -huh. It's like, I don't know how this song is gonna go. I don't know how it's gonna sound. Like, I'm just reading the lyrics like, okay, caught in a lie, caught in a lie, you know? Even the awu part, like I read that and mm -hmm. like, it's like, the way I read it is the, for how the song turned out, bro. I'm just like. Caught you, caught you off guard. That too, and bro. One thing I love when, when, one thing I love that artists do, and it's something I'm real big on, is like, when I like a part in a song and then you revisit it again, like, that awu part, like as far as the chorus, bro, like, it was just clever to me, bro. Like, uh -huh. like it's just like a clever sounding sound that you just like, like I like when I get to experience those sounds more than once in a in a in a song, bro, because it's like. I'm like praying through the second verse that we re revisit this again and it's not just a one-time thing to where like I can only play it if I restart the song over as opposed to having to listen to it throughout the song but mm. I enjoyed it also too guys like if you guys can like elaborate as far as like like the live part the live part and just like is this something that somebody's saying about him that he's trying to convince other people that he isn't lying about or is it something he's actually done to where he's trying to fix himself like just as far as the lie, like the lies, I guess say he said it was swallowing him whole. But like, I just want you guys to elaborate. Like, of course, like like I said, we're we're new to Jimin's as far as like his lifestyle or whatever. Like, this could just be a song to be a song, or this could be a song to explain something as far as to to uh, like you know you you as the fans would know. So if you guys to just elaborate, elaborate with him. Wait, look, uh, Kate, yeah, I want to say the same thing. I felt like I was really trying to get that part. I definitely like the uh, just the, the way they are descriptive about the lyrics. Like it's like who know who knew a lie could be explained in the way that he told it. It's like with all the detail between like like snakes and everything else. Mm -hmm. Just uh, specifically like these artists. Um, I don't know if they get enough credit for explaining the song in a manner to where it's different. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like you really got to give them props for that. But I just, I love the fact of the way it came in. The little um, consistent part in the beginning. I can't really point out what instrument that was. But I also like the fact that the <laughs> chorus took me for a spin mm -hmm. it's like i was not expecting that mm -hmm. it was like for how the song was going versus how the chorus went it kind of threw me off in a way to where i liked it i don't like to be of course nobody likes to be thrown off and not like it but at the same time it threw me off like all right like okay mm -hmm. like it just the way it came in it kind of elevated the song from where it was at but i just liked it man i like the the whole like i said i feel like the lyrics part was really kind of engulfing me in it because it was just like the way to really kind of talk about uh a lie kind of taking over you was very descriptive and i feel like for that part alone i really liked the song but then just jimming in the background vocals of him actually in the song aside from just the song i was like i don't know it's just like you just i like that stuff i mm. like like ad libs and background vocals and stuff you could hear but shout out to y'all for that request man i feel like that was definitely a dope song um I, I still want to know too like what Kogan was saying about the whole live part like because I feel like it's very cool for them to um of course make a song but if it has more of a meaning that we didn't see yet it definitely would be even doper but either way fire song bro yeah so. I, I enjoyed it like I said like, like he said like I said if you guys could just elaborate that as far as the live like is it something to do like a real life thing to where it's like he's trying to convince everybody about the lie like not convince everybody about the lie but like somebody lied on him and he's like the lie swallowing him whole but i like kind of need you guys to believe me and you know see me as how who i used to be because i know it had a certain part in there where it said something about the, his, his smile or something like that but uh -huh. just like i said if you guys can elaborate i know there's always deeper meaning to these guys these guys uh music and these guys art so 
with that being said guys we're gonna go home and get on out of here as usual guys thank you again for the reaction request definitely gonna check out some more Jimmy. no for real so guys and also too like i said before please leave the links as far as what you want us to react to so that way you know if you guys can go by and like it if we see the likes and we'll see that this is exactly what you meant we'll know we're reacting to the right video so with that being said once again my name is kogan it's your boy kate and, and that's skull pack reacts peace